implement laws and regulations in the private sector. That is in the UAE. In this video, we are going to see the employment laws and regulations in the private sector in the UAE. Are you an employee in the UAE? Are you working in Dubai? Are you working in Abu Dhabi? Are you working in Shalisha? Or you are working in the free zone or you are working in any of the other seven Emirates that make up the UAE? This video is made for you. Remember, as an employee working in the UAE, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Shalisha, Ajman and other Emirates, you should be aware of your rights as per the UAE labor laws. Whether you are an expert yet or not, it is important to be aware of what to have an understanding of the UAE labor law. That is in place to protect either to protect your rights or to protect the rights of the unemployed or not to go against what we call the rights or against your rights according to the UAE labor law. There are around 193 articles uh, that stipulates everything to know about the UAE labor law. There are 193 articles that will either specify your rights or specify the rights of your employee at one moment time. Remember, some of, some of the times when you get to, to sign these contracts, we definitely contract, we don't tend to read and we just sign off uh, very fast because we've been in waiting for so anxiety for so long time and we don't have to read. But remember, this, these laws that are being put in place by the UAE government in Dubai or Abu Dhabi in any way, they are just going to, they are just entitled, just, you are entitled to some of these benefits or to protect the your rights and also to protect the rights of the employee or the person that gets to give you the job in any way or the other. So in this video, we are going to look at the 13 most of those important articles that you should know uh, as yourself that you should not miss out, such that in case of anything, you definitely know where to start from or where definitely that you need to, to have in one way or the other. So we are going to get through this, some of these, these articles in one way or the other. Then definitely we are going to see where, where, where are my rights, what are my rights in the UAE, where are my rights, what are my, the rights of my employer in case of that case, in case we get to sign a contract, where contrary we have to, to get in that situation. In article number one, in article number one, article number one, this contains the definition of certain laws. When you look at article number one of the UAE labor law, it will give you a definition of some of the labor laws that are mentioned in the UAE. Some of the terms that may be used, they are being written out, being explained thoroughly in what we call article number one of the UAE labor law, such that it can give you a clear understanding, it can give you a clear uh, insight of what is the meaning of the law or what is the meaning of some of those terms that definitely you are going to encounter or in case you get somewhere and it's being written out in your contract you definitely get to know you get to know the meaning of that uh, are terms that are being used such that you don't get a, a misunderstanding between you uh, you don't get a misunderstanding between you and your employer on one way or the other because most of the time we've been given visas we've been given visas and some of us we do not even serve or some of you do not even serve uh, beyond what you call the probational period uh, because you are being or because the employer is either breaching what you agreed upon in the contract or probably you are breaching what you agreed upon in the contract. So contrary, when you look at Article 1 of the labor law, it will just trace you and it will just give you the definition of what you need to understand or what the definition of you need to understand as being mentioned in what you call your contract. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Uh, tune in for more uh, for more video as we try to look at article number two of the UAE.